Welcome everyone back to the Weekly Source. Super excited to have you today and very excited uh, for our guest today. Today we've got Shadia Sigala, uh, co-founder and CEO of Kinside. Um, really cool company. Excited to hear more about it uh, and what Shadia is doing. So yeah, Shadia, as a way to, to get started, you mind giving a little introduction on yourself? Absolutely. I, you said it. I'm Shadia. Um, Kinside is a child care benefit for modern employers. Um, we are also a tech software company. Um, so what we're doing is, is connecting parents to daycares and preschools um, where we've reserved spots and uh, got, gotten preferred rates and matching them in a really seamless way online on an app. So that's about the company. It's Very cool. Like. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and you know, the question I always ask is, um, are you new to the industry or, or have you been in there? And you've got a bit of background working for a, a major provider and then kind of worked your way back into uh, to what you're doing now. And you know what, Neil, nobody had picked up on that un but you until this, un until you, you mentioned it yesterday. Uh, so I started my career, uh, my working career at, at my health insurance. And I was there for a couple of years, which is where I, you know, really learned the ropes uh, or a little bit of the ropes right because this industry is just so complex but i really got got to see what the benefits uh world looks like from one of the you know foremost um health plans in uh in the country if not the globe um and then i went into then my career went into um tech um so i've co-founded a couple of tech companies and in the second one as you mentioned interestingly i came back full circle into the world of benefits I love it. That's awesome. I think it, it is cool to see, um, you know, we work with people on the court carrier side that might just be with one company for 30 years and you call them like the lifer or somebody who's new to it. And it's, it's interesting to see the evolution of starting and, and coming back and um, which kind of leads to the next question is like, clearly you identified a need in the market, right? You talked a bit about Kinside, um, a, a look behind the curtains. We adjusted our time today for child care needs. Like it, it is clearly a need out there. Um, and when we talked off camera, it was a bit about it being not a private issue anymore, it, it being more of from a perk to something essential. So can you just talk about kind of how the need arose and where that perception is of child care today? Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I mean, you mentioned that the, the world, like the, what the pandemic has exposed is a really fragile system for working parents everywhere. We literally, I mean, child care has moved out of the margin of the workplace and into the center point because it impacts literally whether we show up to work or not, whether we can still do our jobs, whether it's remote or on the front lines, right? Um, childcare, I mean, through the lockdown came to essentially a standstill, just like everything else. And as the economy starts to, you know, recover and move and start to get its wheels going, there are huge gaps in childcare uh, that are really obvious um, and they're hard to ignore for employers. So we know that about 20 to 30 percent of daycare and preschool centers have not reopened through and will not be reopening after the lockdown or after the sort of shelter in place pandemic mode. And so what that means for employers is, you know, 20 to 30 percent fewer people potentially coming back to work, which is a huge business imperative. So again, it's, this is no longer a perk decision for employers. You know, we're seeing a lot of traffic, a lot of interest from employers, brokers, and benefits distributors, understanding that this is actually a bottom line imperative. Uh, yeah, that's a, a good point. And, you know, you may see things are starting to open, but to your point, it's at a percentage point now where it, it might not be enough. I think something you had mentioned when we initially chatted was this idea of the triple burden. I think that will resonate a ton uh, with, with anybody listening, but can you talk a bit more about that and kind of what you're seeing in terms of what the triple burden is? Yeah, so, you know, there's, there's this phrase called uh, the double burden on mothers, on women and mothers primarily, which is that uh, mothers go to, go to work uh, in a workplace setting or they're actually they're doing professional work or work for the, um, uh, for the economy. And then they come home and they do work again at home where, you know, it's pretty, 
Uh, it's pretty well researched um, that women bear the brunt, between, you know, about 90% of the actual domestic household work. So uh, that's called the double burden. And what I think we're seeing right now is a triple burden, which is where women and mothers are being called on to not only to do their job um, and then do all the domestic um, and child rearing duties, but also the homeschooling, right? And like nobody uh, is equipped, uh, people, individuals, as well as the system is not equipped to support homeschooling at scale. And yet that is what parents are being called upon to do. And the research is now showing um, that it's the mothers who are during the lockdown taking the, the, best, uh, the best burden of homeschooling on. So, I, just, I mean, you know, it kind of, end, let me tell you. <laughs> right, parents, right. And I think. But definitely, especially the mothers. Yeah, totally understandable. So what, I guess, what would you say, kind of closing it out today, um, you know, call to action. You mentioned what Kinside's doing for, for the women, especially managing that triple burden. I mean, how do you feel like you guys are positioned to help uh, both now and then as, as daycares start to open and we get to kind of some semblance of where we were back in February, if, if, if at all. So one of the things that we believe philosophically at Kinside is promoting um, equity in, uh, in the household, in the workplace and beyond. So actually, um, we are used equally by uh, fathers and mothers. So our app is used equally by mothers and fathers. When we work with the company, we actually see equal rates of, of adoption. And that's really important because childcare is a household issue. And so, and so I mean, I, I, love, I love the idea that we're actually um, creating a benefit, an employee benefit that fathers are benefiting from just as much. With, and when they bring it to their home, it's benefiting the entire household, which ultimately will hopefully, you know, lessen the burden on, on, their, on their partner if their partner is, is a mother. Um, having said that, look, our call to action is whether it's Kinside or any other from childcare vendor, um, I, you know, I, I implore uh, employers to look at their parental benefits portfolio as a whole, you know, because it's not just about child care. It's also about paid family leave. And it's not just about having new, new kids or kids. It's also about taking care of other family members of your household. One of the things that we're seeing right now is that we are not for ourselves, right? Every individual is operating within an ecosystem, um, a community, whether it's a household or the larger community. Um, and I think that we're going to come out of this, out of the pandemic, with a much more holistic view of, you know, how employers can help to support the way that people really operate at a larger, in a larger context. I love it. That's, that's a, a great item in closing. So where, if people are interested, want to learn more, um, we'll obviously link to your page uh, in the comments of this, but where would you send them to? Kinside.com. Awesome. And again, uh, we, you know, the, we had Andy Neary on last week, who was supposed to be with us at Eclipse out in, uh, in Southern California. And I know you did a virtual session with us all, Eclipse Live, and you're doing this video. So I always appreciate the partnership. And for anybody who wants to learn more uh, about what Shadi and team are doing, we'll link to that as well. But thanks so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.